Our kids, even though they're involved in sports and school activities and so forth, they also uh, worked an awful lot of hours on the farm. Summers were very busy for them. Summers uh, involved, they were being seasonal. We kind of get stretched thin during our busy season and you take on a lot of different roles and a lot of different responsibilities and our kids also had to step in in some of those responsibilities on the farm and therefore they were they were very busy as well and they developed a, I think a good work ethic from that and learned responsibility and, and learned that uh, some things in life like like sports and so forth are are, are a plus they're a blessing they're they're uh, something that you can enjoy but but it's it's really not all of life raising on the kids on the farm they end up having a lifestyle that was different from their friends. When they were little, like two years old or three, you know, they'd come to the farm with Doug um, in just little increments, you know. So it's not only in their blood, it was in their daily activities and events. You know, they enjoyed riding in the pickup and then seeing what Dad did. I remember in preschool, I never wanted to go to school. In kindergarten, I would always just stay with my dad in the tractor, whatever he was doing. Um, in the summer, we would always, me, my brother, my two sisters and cousins would always be working, pulling weeds, doing whatever. My brother and I having a big interest in basketball and being involved, our kids grew up in the gym with us and uh, they developed that same love for sports, that same love for basketball, basketball. Again, with them being so busy in the summertime, uh, basketball was an opportunity that they could throw themselves into and and they did. They threw themselves in with the same passion and work ethic and commitment as, as they do in work. The reason I chose basketball is because my dad played basketball. That was his main sport. He also played a little bit of a couple other sports, but his real passion was basketball. And you know, every kid wants to be like their dad. And like you said, the seasons with basketball and farming work out pretty nicely. Michigan State basketball, of course, is something where I think it's every kid's dream to someday play for Tom Izzo at Michigan State, but I think in particular for somebody like Matthew, it, it, it was uh, the dream. And of course, a lot of kids dream that dream, and, and uh, for some kids that comes true. When I went with him to Michigan State, it was just me and him. When I walked in the building, just something came over me like, this is where he needs to be. And I could just see his whole demeanor when he walked in. It was almost kind of like he felt like, oh, this is where I'm gonna be, I'm home. There's nothing like Michigan State. I mean, it's one of the top programs in the nation. And I knew if I had an opportunity to come here, I, I would come here. When Matthew got the scholarship, I, Just brought me to tears to see him go for something so in him. I was so proud of him, and um, he taught he's taught me a lot. I was overwhelmed with joy because my my goal my whole life was to get a scholarship in basketball um, from any college, and for it to be from Michigan State. I was beyond excited. Matthew is one of the unique guys that he's going to Michigan State for a specific purpose. Basketball is, is the, the icing on the cake. It's, it's uh, being able to live out that dream along with his purpose for going to Michigan State is to get an agriculture degree, to pursue a career in agriculture, to pursue a career on the family farm. Some of the things he learned here on the farm, I think it's kind of neat to see that perhaps in a, in a way benefit the Michigan State basketball program. I definitely knew real quick that I wanted to go back to the farm and work with my hands and work with my family and work with the land and that's something that I really love to do and I'm really excited to go back to the family farm and in a few months here and start working full time. Basketball is allowing him to meet people and have a network of connections that he's never had, would not have had otherwise but that basketball someday will stop bouncing. And uh, looking ahead, I, I don't think he's concerned about that day because that, he will be uh, involved in the farming, which is also one of his dreams.